welcome back to Let's Talk. This is me, your trainer, Mira. Today I've got certain adjectives written on the board for you and we are going to learn how to make these adjectives more attractive by using certain words which are called intensifiers. Now just the way the word suggests intensifiers which means that these are the words that give an intense expression or they will tell you exactly how hungry you are or how harsh someone was. Basically these um, intensifiers allow you to express more properly and they help you amplify certain words and certain adjectives without actually being loud. Now we usually end up saying words like really or pretty for everything but when you are extremely hungry right you're basically starving you can always be a little hungry or maybe you are just you've just had food but you don't mind eating again basically there are three different stages of in intensities high intensity level medium and low and that is why there are different types of intensifiers you can express yourself with. So let's get going how and see how we can use different words to express these adjectives in a much better way. Now let's take a look at the first word attractive. Now you want to say that you actually saw a girl who was extremely attractive or you wanted to just say that mm, okay she's maybe not that attractive she's just little attractive but for those who want to say how extremely gorgeous this person is try to use this intensifier something that I just said extremely I'm going to pen down first I'm going to pen down the high level intensifiers then we will shift to medium and then we will shift to low intensity okay now extremely attractive tells you that the particular person was that attractive high level now similarly take a look at the next word tasteless maybe the food that you cooked for the first time was tasteless but how tasteless was it was it pretty tasteless or really tasteless you can always say utterly tasteless that means there was no taste whatsoever you ruined the whole meal so you can use the high level intensity intensifier which is utterly see how small words adding these words can change the meaning and change the expression completely before I forget, completely is also a high level intensifier. Now polite. You want to say that the particular person you met was polite. I met uh, Mr. Sharma and he was a polite person. How polite was he? He was absolutely polite. Another high level intensifier, absolutely. He's a CEO of a company, but he was absolutely polite and that surprised you. Okay, now lazy. Someone is lazy. Do you know anyone who's really lazy? Well, guys, I know someone who is lazy and that person is insanely lazy. Another way to express insanely. That person can definitely make me go crazy because his laziness is insane. No comparison, I can promise you that. See, extremely, utterly, absolutely, insanely. Now there is a particular lesson where you have learned how to substitute words like really and very um, with the word hungry. If you haven't watched this, uh, you, there's a link somewhere here, you can go ahead and watch it. But if you want to say that, you can still use the word really because that is a medium level intensifier if you must use it. So I'm going to make sure that I write it here, which is very now. Let me just write these were high level. 
intensifiers. We have started with the medium. Now, um, your starving would be a complete substitution and that would go in the high level intensifiers, but using very here is completely fine, like I said, okay? Now, handsome. Say you wanted to say someone you met recently looked handsome or you were just scrolling your YouTube channel and um, you saw someone, you came across someone who looked handsome. On a medium level, maybe he was not that attractive, but you just want to say how handsome he was in a medium level, not just, it's 50-50, half-half. So you can say really handsome, be very simple. Usually the medium level intensifiers are simple such as very and in this case I'm going to use the word really. He was really handsome. Hey, have you checked out his channel? I think he's really handsome is a way to express it. Now you want to uh, express that something was boring. Today's movie was boring. You can say particularly boring. It is considered as the medium level intensifier. Pretty Particularly, particularly boring. Now, I want to say that someone was being silly. Today, in the office, someone was being silly and just cracking jokes all day. I can use the word quite here, quite silly. Don't be, don't crack jokes all the time. That's quite silly, you know. So, using the word quite, your means I'm using a medium level intensifier. Moving on from um, silly to slow. Whenever things are going slow, but maybe your Wi-Fi is slow in speed, you can always say, Today's, today the Wi-Fi has been specifically slow, right? Maybe someone was being harsh with you and you didn't like it, right? You can always say that, hey, that's, that's not right. You shouldn't be speaking like that. That's slightly harsh, you know. So you are yourself being a little um, medium, at a medium intensity, you're trying to express your feelings that don't say such things. It's slightly harsh. So I'm using the word slightly. Did you, can you notice the difference from very, really, particularly, quite, specifically, slightly. Now from here on, our low intensity intensifiers will start. Let me just mark these quickly as the medium level intensifiers, medium level intensifiers. Now, slightly harsh. Someone's words were slightly harsh, you got hurt. Maybe you're worried about something. How worried you are, you can always express by saying, you were not home, I have been waiting for you. I was somewhat worried. Somewhat is another low level intensifier. Okay. Let me just mark these a little later. Slightly harsh, somewhat worried, romantic. Well, there are really different levels of being romantic. You could have a high intensity, medium, but let me give you a low intensity here. You can use the word mildly, mildly romantic. I recently read a book and that was mildly romantic, okay? But quite silly, mildly romantic. Not completely romantic, mildly romantic, okay? Easy, did you write a test? How easy was it or how difficult was it? You can say that it was relatively easy, okay? 
relatively easy. <clears throat> Again, you're showcasing that it was more um, a little difficult, but relatively easy. I could write the test properly. The quiz was relatively easy. The Sudoku that I solved today was relatively easy. Now, another word here, nervous. I can always use a uh, few of the above that I've already written. I can say I was slightly nervous. I was somewhat nervous, mildly nervous, um, relatively nervous. All of these will, will definitely go with this word as well. Let me use somewhat. I will use somewhat nervous. These are low level intensifiers. Now, if you are asking me or if there's anyone out there who's thinking, can we change and interchange and mix and match? Well, most certainly you can. You can say utterly slow or utterly silly. That goes correct. Absolutely romantic. You can say very attractive. You can say extremely easy. See how you can interchange the intensity and express exactly what you want to say and what you mean to say in the particular moment, okay? Well, guys, these were just some of the intensifiers. There are so many out there, but try to use them. Try to inculcate these in your language, in your written and verbal language. I guarantee that this will change your game as long as English is concerned. Well, guys, that's all for today. I will be back very soon with another interesting lesson. Until then, like I always say, keep practicing, keep smiling, spread love. This is me, Mira, signing off for the day, guys. Bye.